Hey guys, how's it going? One of the most asked questions to me is what's the difference between sparkling wine and champagne? Now first of all, let's get that out of the way. We can't call it champagne anywhere else in the world but a region in France called Champagne. The rest of the world we have to call it Methode Cup Classique, Methode Traditional or Methode Champenois. But it's essentially the way and the method they make champagne in France. So the thing about sparkling wine is they basically make a base wine and then they just add carbon dioxide. So essentially you've got carbonated wine. That's your JC Leroux and the things we know around our double dinner tables in Cape Town. Now when it comes to Methode Cup Classique, called MCC by most people, it is a way more complicated process. So what they have to do then is they actually make a base wine and then that base wine gets transferred into the bottle. Now once in a bottle, the winemaker adds yeast and more sugar. Now, and then he closes it and that's called the secondary fermentation. Now in the secondary fermentation, one of the main byproducts is carbon dioxide. Now if you think about it, carbon dioxide in a bottle forming and it's trapped, it has nowhere to go. So therefore it seeps into the bottle. And that's a big difference between MCC and sparkling wine. The bubbles formed in the MCC is all naturally formed. So now you have bubbles formed and you have dead yeast. Now that dead yeast is called the lease. Now the winemaker intentionally leaves the lease in the bottle, the dead yeast cells in the bottle because it imparts a certain amount of flavor. Now what he does is you'll leave it there for at least 15 months. And then after that 15 months, you've got a lot of gunk, a lot of dead yeast in the bottle, you've got to get it out. So it's a process called the Ridley. Now what they'll do is they'll twist and vertically lift the bottle until it's all vertical. Now once this bottle is vertical, you'll have all that least dead yeast cells at the, in the neck of the bottle. Then what the winemaker has to do is he takes this and he puts it in the freezing cold brine and then he, he removes it and gets it out. Now once you take the dead yeast cells, you took some wine with it. So there's a process called dosage, which is the base wine with a bit more sugar in it and then the winemaker will top that wine with a dosage. It generally makes the wine a bit sweeter as well. So now you've got an end of the year bubbly wine, you're going to go to the club, you're going to pop bottles and hopefully get some girls for 27. Enjoy the year.